this bag, so good. You know, when everyone was obsessed with wearing like five belts at once, I was so excited about it. I'm gonna keep these. Are you ready for part two of my major closet declutter and reevaluation? Today I am gonna go through my belts, bags, shoes, and jewelry. So, oh, and maybe even sunglasses if we have time. Just really going through everything in my closet after living out of a suitcase and living with only a small percentage of my closet for the past nine months. It's really forced me to reevaluate everything I have. I typically do a closet audit once a year, but this feels a little bit more aggressive perhaps just because I really realized again that I probably don't need as much as I have and especially if I do plan on moving again I'm not sure where. It's always nicer to travel light and pack light and I'm really trying to be true to myself here. I hope you find this video helpful. Let's jump on it. Belts are up. These are all of the belts I have left. Definitely 100% going to keep this one. This is the beautiful feel from uh, my pals over at Brave, fantastic Canadian company. I actually did a co-creation with them, this belt right here. It also comes in a beautiful brown and you can choose the buckle. I absolutely love this belt and I specifically designed it with them with just a nice standard width because you'll see I have a lot of like skinny belts in there, a couple of like really thick ones which I had gotten rid of, but all the different sizes of belts like the standard is what I always come back to. It's just the most versatile. So letting go of some skinny belts here. And like, you know what? We see skinny belts coming back a little bit, but even when these were quite popular, you know, in the height of the early aughts, I wasn't really wearing them that often. I was more wearing them for like styling photo shoots and very specific outfits that weren't my everyday go-tos. Also, I do have a long torso. So a skinny belt, it really just accentuates that. And again, I don't really subscribe to specific body type rules, but there's probably a reason why I didn't love wearing the skinny belt. This absolutely keeping, this belt is a vintage one that I found at I think Value Village or some thrift shop. And it is what prompted me to co-design this belt with Brave because I just loved the standard width. I loved how classic and simple it was, but because of the like brass rounded buckle on this one. It's a bit heftier. It feels a little bit like rougher. So I wanted something just nice and classic that would elevate just jeans and a button up or jeans and a sweater, which is what I wear all the time. I've got a discount code for you for Brave as well. So I'll leave that in the description box for you below, but definitely keeping the thrifted belt. I'm letting go of this one. I will probably see if a vintage reseller will want this belt. It's fantastic. Definitely let go of this belt, this brief belt. Oh gosh, definitely letting go of this guy. I mean, this belt, this is like ancient, ancient, and I never wore it. I wore it actually, or I was, I was told to purchase it to add to my little tulle skirt, and I never did. It was just too flashy, too frou-frou for me. That's just really not me. Here's one skinny belt that I will keep. So this will be the only skinny belt that I keep, and the reason why is that A, it is a touch thicker, but it has holes that go all the the way down to the end. So even though it's a little bit skinny, it can be incredibly versatile. Oh my gosh. I found this Moschino belt in Rome at a vintage store. I do not know if it is real or fake, but I loved it. This is very old. This is, maybe I got it like four or five years ago. Knowing myself a little bit better, I think it's a little bit too flashy for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this go. We've got a couple of other thick belts that I just don't wear. I don't even know. I can't even tell you where I got this one. Um, and it is actually a little bit too big for me. Same with this one. Ugh, this is not my color, unfortunately. It is a beautiful belt. Letting go of that. Here's another skinny belt, but I'm gonna keep it because it's just so cool and classic. And it's black. It's just like a really classic small black belt. I like this extra detail here on the buckle. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bunch more holes punched in it. So there, this is kind of my logic. One dark, one light, I'll be all set. Mmm, navy! I remember when I bought this. I was like, oh, navy is in my color palette. 
therefore, this belt makes sense. It wasn't on my list, it was on sale, and I remember thinking that it was like such a steal. It is a great belt. I'm really not into colorful belts, even though it's navy. Would you call that a color? I don't know. This big, thick black belt. What do we do here? This is a tough one. It reminds me of a pirate. It is big, but it's pretty classic, even if it is thick. I'm gonna keep this for one more season. If I don't wear it in the winter this year or at all this year, then I will let go of it next year. This cloth belt, this came with my pencil skirt. I think I'm gonna keep it because it does look really cool when worn with my pencil skirt. It's weird. I don't typically keep something that can only be worn one way. Big black wrap belt. Absolutely, that thing comes in handy. More from an evening wear perspective, there are certain things that I definitely don't wear every single day. Certain things that, you know, I haven't worn in the past year. And when it comes to things like occasion wear, I think that's okay. I've mentioned this before on the channel that like I don't always follow that very strict, like if you haven't worn it in a year, if you haven't worn it in the past six months, then don't wear it. I think we need to look deeper and look at the context of the garment before we just let things go. Sure, I don't wear this every day. Sure, it's been over a year since I've last worn it. But when I do need to dress up, when I do want to wear some elevated separates like my tulle skirt and a cute top, this comes in so, so handy. And it has transformed some of my old pieces, old, old evening wear that I can just recycle over and over again. So keeping that. Okay, I have this random belt. I think it is so cool. I bought this belt maybe like 2004, 2005, you know, when everyone was obsessed with wearing like five belts at once. And this was like a double belt. Is it too much hardware? Okay, first of all, it's too big. Now I don't know how I feel about all these like multiple things. What if I just cheat it for now? Oh my gosh. Hang on. What is happening here? Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Maybe this is why. Oh no, there we go. That's easy enough. Okay, no, you know what? No, no, I'm not gonna do this. Nope, 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 this is not me. This is very cool, the concept is cool. It's in a neutral color. I'm not cool enough to pull this off. I think this is more of like an earthy kind of really cool bohemian slash rock and roll slash, you know, get creative with your adjectives here, but it is not for me. Ta-da! That's a pretty big difference. I'm very happy with this. That's pretty good. Progress! I don't have a lot of bags, so let's do bags here. Oh boy. <laughs> this lovely Parissa Wang bag, it was gifted to me. I was like, I'm gonna do color, I'm gonna do red. It's small, it's subtle, it's great. It's got a really cool crossbody. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this bag, but I was not using it. I mean, let's be real, I think I just have a strong aversion to color. So, this will go. This bag, okay, this bag I got in Portugal. I was so excited about it, but now I'm not so sure. You will all hate me. You want to know why? Because I have this bag. It's like when I was traveling, no, I knew I had this bag, but I was like, I want something bigger. And I really thought this was bigger than this bag, like significantly, but it's actually, they hold the same thing. This is also very structured. This is also very structured. I remember when I bought this bag, I really wanted it to be sort of, instead of the Lueve puzzle, which is my dream bag, I thought, you know, this is secondhand. Even secondhand, the Lueve puzzle is very, very expensive, in my opinion. And I just thought I could work with this. In typical fashion life, when you settle for something, it doesn't last as long in your closet. So I'm kind of sad about this. I don't think I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to see if a really fantastic vintage boutique in my city wants it, or maybe I know a lot of you liked this bag. Maybe I'll put it on Poshmark and I'll let you know when I do. It's a fantastic bag. Not only do I have this bag, which is fantastic and which I love, I also have this bag. I mean, look, it's it's like worse for wear, but I can, it's still in fantastic condition. It's ancient, but I love it. Like, look at the patina. I've had this for like 14 years. The strap broke, but this is easy to remedy. This kind of has the qualities that I'm looking for. A little bit of structure, but still soft. It is rather long and wide, but I think if I put a strap, it can kind of become less wide. This is what I've been wanting to do. Let's try this. Get a lot of questions about this strap. I found it at a boutique in Portugal, but you can find something similar very easily on Etsy. If you just look for um, guitar purse strap, that'll get you a whole bunch of things. How's 
is this? How is this? Little wide, a little bit more bohemian feeling than I would like, but I love this bag so much. I think we should try it. Gosh, especially with this strap, it feels very bohemian. Maybe a little too bohemian for me, but you know what? For the sake of not being wasteful, because I feel so guilty about the other bag. You know what? And maybe I can get a different strap, one that's a little bit more streamlined. Okay, so I have a tote. I have this incredible bag. This is just such a good bag. Bag. I will never let go of this bag. It is made in Canada, made actually not far at all from me. I also have it in black. It's pretty heavy, but it's a pretty awesome convertible bag. So keeping this, getting rid of this, who am I? Not a princess. Letting go of this. I think I will try and sell this on Poshmark because it's out of season. Like, I think I'll be better off with just either a bigger, more functional straw tote that has a little bit more give to it. What can I say, people? Practicality must win. This will be my evening bag. It's metallic. It goes with absolutely everything. Whenever I'm going out and I need a purse that is dressy, this literally does the job. It's from a company called Satchel. I found it in Georgia like 14 years ago. I don't even know if they're still in business. I also absolutely love for evening. Like I'm all set. I don't need anything else. This could go for day and evening. It's this adorable Farrah and Sloan bag with the cute little chain. And if I want to make it a little bit more she-she, I've got, this is so cool. I love this company. If you've never heard of Farrah and Sloan, you must check them out. This fantastic women owned from Australia. She specializes in these like whimsical purses. I can actually take this off. Look, look how cute, can you see? So it just kind of hangs. It's got this big like bracelet handle. So if you want to turn it into evening, it's so easy. And I just love the, the detail here. It's like a fish scale, really beautiful. Fanny pack, obviously we keep. This is so functional. This bag, so good. I missed this bag actually. It is a bit small for everyone every day. Oh gosh, should I let it go? Oh my God, it's fantastic. It's it's coach. I bought it secondhand. I think I'm gonna hang on to it for now. It is, I find it's just, just slightly too small for day. Oh, we're gonna keep it because I have worn it. I do wear it very often. Let's hang on to it for now. And then of course, I'm gonna hang on to this bag. I found it in Croatia, secondhand, vintage. It's good, it's perfect. It's like good malleability, fits most things. We'll see. I like this bag, I really like this bag. Didn't let go of as many bags as I would like. I feel like we made progress. So these are the bags I'm letting go of. There clutch. And these were so fun. Like, look how cute this is. It's This was also from Satchel, that really cool company based out of Georgia. You just clip it onto your purse. And I think it's so cute. But this is again, like really folksy, really bohemian, really not me as beautiful as it is. So I will sell these as well. The biggest challenge of all, footwear. Do we even tackle it or will I start breaking out into tears on camera? Who knows? Or maybe I won't let go of any shoes and then you'll just be really disappointed in me. So I've stored some shoes here. I also have some in this bag up here. Uh, these are my dear Francis boots, which I just purchased last year. Definitely keeping the hose. And I have some sandals and stuff in there. Okay, this is a surprise to me, but I'm gonna let go of these because I've been trying to slowly replace booties with booties that have shafts that are just slightly higher. Even though I have big socks or I'm often wearing tights and leggings, I really want a little bit more protection of the boot coming up under the hem of my jeans or pants or anything. Like not only just from a warmth perspective, but I prefer that visual. In Rome, I recently found this boot. It's fantastic. Can you see it? Look how fantastic it is. So it's kind of like the perfect shaft height. It's exactly what I was looking for. It's got a little bit of like a print detail and so so I purchased these knowing that I would replace these ones here. So I'm gonna sell these. I am definitely hanging on to my fry cowboy boots, my over the knee suede boots, my patent and like winter ankle booties. These are just bananas. Until I find a black 
high shaft booty. I'm gonna keep these. They are, gosh, they look how worn they are. They need a trip to the cobbler, but they are so comfortable and fantastic. So I'm not gonna let those go. These are a really good pair of ankle booties, but you know, like I, I really don't wear them as often. And especially because I have the others and because this does dip so low on the ankle and so much of your ankle is exposed. I think I'm gonna let these go as well. Really sad. These are a great boot. Jury is still out on these Uggs. They are just so fantastic but the heel is really high, but look how they've got the high shaft that I'm going after. So I think I'm gonna keep those for now. Oh man, these patent thigh highs. You know what, I'm gonna put them on. I'm gonna put them on, try these on. I don't think I need two pairs of over the knee boots, except I love how this like patent shine can give such great interest to outfits, but I just, I think I prefer the, the richness of the suede. Okay, so this obviously requires better styling and jeans that aren't so straight. No, see, every time I try to let go of these boots, I put them on and I think, but they're so fantastic. And the heel, like, it's comfortable, it's solid, they're patent. When I purchased them, I remember it was because they were such a good winter boot. Uh, I mean, look, not like for keeping you warm, but if you are going out and you want to look good and not get your feet wet, they're pretty awesome. Okay, keeping. Espadrille. Les espadrilles! I'm actually a little bit angry at myself for these. I haven't had much opportunity to wear them because I got them shortly before I left, so I didn't have last summer to try them. These are really comfortable, and espadrilles are so classic. I like them. I created several outfits with them, but I ask myself if this wasn't a case of, you need a pair of espadrilles for the summer because espadrilles are classic and they're French girl chic and they go with everything and da 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 da. But I don't know if they are me. I always felt quite fussy in them. Not that they're a fussy shoe, like they're so easy, but I wonder if I'd be better off with a flat espadrille. I don't know. They're a classic. If I'm going by my three words, they are classic. They're pretty minimal. They're definitely not undone. If I'm looking at what I have mostly in my closet, which is like my next step, like what are my uniforms in the summer? A silk slip skirt, in which I find these are way too bulky in terms of the proportions with my slip skirt, especially because it's black and white and these are kind of like a cream. They would go, but I don't love that silhouette combination between the midi and these. I think you need a shorter hemline, at least on me and my body. So it doesn't go with that formula. Do they go with like shorts and a button up, which is my main formula in the summer? No, I'd prefer to wear a little flat. I would pre much prefer to wear a little pointed flat. I think it, it's a lot more me or one of my sandals. This is tough. Like it's hard to let go. I feel weird letting go of such a classic, perfectly amazing item. These are by Alohas. They're a wonderful company. You know what? Which outfit formula these would look really cute with would be jeans and a little tank top or a little camisole. This would look really cute with that. It would really dress it up and elevate it. But then again, so would like a really nice sleek sandal or a cute little flat or even like a little sling back, which is what I'm more inclined to wear. So, oh, I didn't think I would let go of these. Hmm. I think it has to be done. Goodbye, Espadrille. I wonder if also, please let me know in the comments if you do this too, if, if you kind of like, if you do get a bit angry at yourself for acquiring things just because the internet told you to. Like, I'm, I don't think we should beat ourselves up so much from doing that. And I don't think that's a reason to keep something either. Okay, I'm going to let go of these pumps. They are so cute. They are navy one of my colors. But this little scallop detail isn't me and who are we kidding? I am no longer working in banking or in a situation where heels make a lot of sense. So I think I can narrow my pump collection down to like the bare essentials. These are, oh gosh, I love these shoes. Look how cute they are. Oh my God. But I think I'm going to let them go. Here's what I struggle with. And maybe a lot of you struggle with this too, is that because something is so beautiful, even if it's not our style, or even if it's not beautiful on us, we still feel the need to keep it just because it's so beautiful. And you're like, but it's beautiful. So if it's beautiful like this, then it'll be beautiful on me. And sure, maybe sometimes it is, but not if we're not using it. Gosh, what a shame. These olive escadas that I found secondhand, I'm gonna keep these. Giant crazy platform 70s sandals. This makes no sense that I want to keep these, but I do. I think they will make my legs look bananas long with shorts. These are like my fun shoe, a wild shoe. 
keeping. Definitely gonna keep these. They have come in handy like there is no tomorrow. I know it's like, why? It's color, it makes no sense. The heel is comfortable, super good condition. And again, this is kind of like the leather wrap belt or evening wear when it's like, when you need to spice up an old classic, these have come to my rescue many times. <gasps> mm -mm -mm. Okay, so these are a pair of Louboutin. I did not wear them often. Look, you can tell the sole isn't super worn. Um, I just, I mean, they're beautiful. This is more like a work of art and I never wear them because I'm so afraid of ruining them. So I think they belong in someone's closet who has a more perhaps delicate or sensible lifestyle. They're very, very old, but they're beautiful. <laughs> These are fantastic. Oh my gosh, this is a great shoe. Rachel Zoe, I've had it for like 11 years. I don't know if I can let this one go. This is another, like if I had to do a presentation. So what if we say, okay, maybe it's not like the bare essential on heels. Maybe I'm still like living some sort of fantasy life. This is just such a good shoe. Oh, here are another pair of Louboutin. Even if I'm going out and doing evening wear stuff, I don't know if I have like really long toes, but the open toe on me like just doesn't work. It's too uncomfortable. They just I think I'm gonna let these go as well. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Those, we have a consignment boutique here, which I know will sell those, so that's great. Technically, I know this, and I think eventually, maybe in like a year's, maybe two years time, these are gonna be the only two pumps I am left with. Because, I mean, the, the, these are my go-tos whenever I need to wear pumps. The others are really bonuses. I just need to be gentle with myself <laughs> as I'm letting them go. And then, if you've been here for a while, my wedding shoe, another Manolo, incredibly comfortable. I don't think I'll ever let this go because it's it's kind of like the summer equivalent of the red pump in that it does really come in handy when I want to dress something up. These are my ants, my Moschino flat. I was not getting enough footwear support on these. These are fantastic. I bought them secondhand. I've worn them to death. I'll take them to the cobbler and see if there's something they can do, but I think I'll probably just sell these on Poshmark if I can. These navy sandals. I bought these in Sicily thinking that I would wear them like to dress up summer stuff. A, I didn't miss these at all when I was traveling. And B, I am so much more inclined to wear flats these days, even though these have like a nice ankle strap, which is something that I've been, you know, really kind of looking for in summer shoes. I, every time I put these on, I just don't feel amazing, amazing. I think I was settling when I bought them in Sicily. I've had them for five, six years. They've had some good use. It's not like they were never worn. Definitely gonna try selling those. These Oxfords. They're metallic. I haven't worn them in a while, especially. I am so much more inclined to wear these loafers or if I could find like a little black loafer or even just my little flats or a pair of black flats. These are kind of cool though. There were a couple times when I was like, maybe I would have worn these in Europe. They're so light and good. You know what, let's keep them for another year. We'll see. I think that's it. Everything else I will keep. All right, for jewelry, rather than go through each and every single piece, which will take a long time, I'm just gonna show you what I've kept, but I did manage to let go of quite a few pieces But here is what sort of my jewelry collection is looking like my necklaces some watches I did keep some leather strap watches as well I'm gonna show you in a second earrings like everyday earrings a couple of rings here Definitely my Ana Luisa. These are my most recent co-creation with Ana Luisa They're just such a good everyday earring and there are still some left if you want to grab them before the holiday season because I think they're gonna go pretty quickly now. Just a couple of extra bits and bobs here. So some more necklaces, bunch of rings. I think I'm gonna take another pass at these actually. These are like my crazy wild vintage fussy earrings, which is why I'm not gonna keep another pair of fussy earrings. I think if I have like, who needs more? than like one of these, you know? Studs, some pearls and silver jewelry, a couple, like a couple of more great pieces, and that's it. I still feel like this is a lot of jewelry. Here are some of my leather strap watches. There's three leather straps, and then this like really big chunky one. It's like ceramic and silver. I still actually wear this, very Y2K. So that is what I have for you today. If you're still here, congratulations. Thank you, thank you for sticking around. I hope you found this kind of declutter video helpful. I know it was really like casual and chatty, but we'll be going back to regular format slow fashion videos. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video or if it helped you out a little, hit thumbs up and also hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be back with another slow fashion video.
Ciao.